my name's Linda and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. I'm using some items that I have from this celebration catalog. So celebration is happening between January and February this year and if you spend £45 you get to choose an item from the celebration catalog. If you spend £90 you can actually get this one. So this is a £90 item, you get the Very Blessing stamp set and you also get some 12 by 12 design series paper it's really really pretty and i'm going to be using this one today and we're going to be making a thank you card and let's get started I'm going to be using thick whisper white as my card base or now it's actually called basic white we've actually changed the um paper mill I think the paper mill that we used to use at Stampin' Up! has closed down. So actually this is an A4 sheet, I've cut it along at 14.9 centimetres and I'm going to score it at 10 and a half centimetres and that is going to be our card base. There we go. I've done a little bit of preparation um, and I've cut some dies here. I've been using the Stitch So Sweetly dies which I really really like so I've already done, cut a few here um, I've done a Knight of Navy and a Whisper White in the largest um, rectangle die and then a Whisper White in the smaller one one down and I've also done a Whisper White in the little tiny one and I've stamped thanks in there this is from the well said this sentiment whatever you've got whatever you want to use and then I've just cut a piece of um, Knight of Navy that just goes around the edge of that just so that makes it pop out a little bit and literally cut, die cut this out and then cut a little bit of Knight of Navy a tiny bit, tiny tiny bit bigger and obviously I've used Knight of Navy ink there I have two pieces of the designing series paper that I've already cut out the smaller one is 9.5 by 13.9 and the larger one is 10 by 14. The larger one's gonna go inside the card and the smaller one's gonna go on the outside of the card. And then I also have some Knight of Navy cardstock, which is 10 by 14.4 centimeters. And we're gonna be layering, um, layering the design series paper on top. So this is the one that's going inside. I'm gonna put that to one side for the moment. So I'm just going to stick this down. I might have been a little bit out of camera then. I think I've gone too far on the table. So I have made another card similar to this one and I might put them both on um, on the same day or one after the other, maybe one day and then the next day. I've used the same um, design series paper and the same sort of idea but it is a little bit different. So now I'm going to do some stamping. I'm using Knight of Navy. Pacific Point and Garden Green. So I'm using this leaf first with my Garden Green and I'm just going to stamp that down. And then the one that you fill in, I'm actually going to ink that up. I'm going to stamp it off, stamp it off over, over there. <laughs> And then the trick is to sort of hover this over and then go down. And there we go. Next I'm using the Knight of Navy. Using the berries. And I've just popped those next to the little stems there. And then Pacific Point. And we're going to fill those berries. And there we go. And next, we just want to fussy cut this out, and I want it to be um, just a little white edge all the way around, so you can just cut around like so. I've already cut one earlier, and I've actually stamped it slightly differently. Um, I didn't stamp off for my leaf, and I did stamp off for my berry. So I did it the opposite way. But I'm going to use this one as I've already cut it out. I'm going to stick my small stitched so sweetly in the centre of my Knight of Navy one. This is quite a simple card. Once you've done all the um, stamping 
and fussy cutting then it's just a little bit of die cutting if you don't have these dies you can use different dies if you don't have any dies you can just cut some rectangles we're going to position this in the center here we're going to pop it up with a few dimensionals so if you find that this is too plain for your taste, you could, before you stick it down, you could do some stamping on the back there. You could stamp some of the leaves, um, like stamping off so it, it's um, a lighter background. Or you could just um, stamp lots of different sentiments all the way across. If you've got a background stamp, you get the idea. I quite liked the, um, the white behind it. So I'm just going to pop that on like so and then we can stick this to the front of our card I do like these um, cards where you just layer layer because once you start putting them together it comes together really fast I'm popping this towards the top of the card so we can fit our little thanks down the bottom. I'm going to pop this up with dimensionals. And then put some glue on the back. So now all we need to do is stick this to the front of the card and this is going to go on the inside of the card. So let's stick this down. Paper is so pretty. There's also some raspberries on the, um, the stamp set, so you could actually do the raspberry, use the raspberry paper as well. And then we're going to stick this one on the inside here so you have somewhere to write your message. You could also do another um, stamp sentiment on there if you want to. And that just shows off that pretty paper. Oh, upside down. And there we go, just stick that on. Okay, and there is my card finished. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this card. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Bye.